Hello, this is Billy Kaur from the Carolina Circle Mall Wiki. Today is um, Monday, March the 3rd of 2014, and it's snowing again. Um, nothing really all that amazing, just a bunch of sl sloppy sleep mostly, but I think it's something, and it's always kind of cool to see in March, but um, that's actually not the point of this video. Um, remember the old, that um, video game setup thing I showed? Um, Last week, well, here it is again. I made a few adjustments to it. Um, same TV. Got a little Garfield on top of it. And, and I've now got a um, DVD RW slash um, VCR that I've had since 2007, but with no reason to use it for the last couple of years. I, I got it hooked up to the TV so I can watch DVDs and um, VHS tapes while I'm on my computer. Still got the Super Nintendo, still got the Sega Genesis, but, um, and, hold on, what is this? Oh no, Billy, is it another Packard Bell video? Sorry, but yes it is. <laughs> this is, um, an old friend we haven't seen in a good while. This is the Packard Bell Legend 402 CD, one of my favorite Packard Bell models, but what is it doing right here um, with all this um, mess? Well, there's a um, good explanation. You see, um, I was thinking about um, El Mall 3 for a little bit, a while not too long ago, and I was thinking about the concept he made of a um, bedside computer, which is basically what it is. It's a computer Luke has built, and he has it sitting right by his bed, so when he's in bed, it's within um, perfect distance if he ever needs to use the computer. Well, I got to thinking, I want a bedside computer as well, but I figure, why not make my own spin on it? Instead of a modern computer like Luke has, I'm going to go grab one of my spare Packard Bells and hook it up by my bed <laughs> so I can use it from my bed <laughs> I need a life don't I <laughs> but anyway um I have a um, Packard Bell monitor here which by the way this is the monitor I had um, plugged into my 822 um, but I realized that that my um, digital control monitor actually has a lot better picture than this monitor so I have it running on the 822 now, the digital control edition. Because um, the picture is a lot clearer and brighter than um, this one here. Not that this one's not any good, but it's a little better for the smaller computer, don't you think? And I've got a um, Packard Bell keyboard and a um, Microsoft mouse. Um, right there so um, yeah it's um, the specs of it the computer itself haven't really changed since the last time you saw it it's um, still a 75 megahertz Pentium originally had a 540 megabyte hard drive in it but I upgraded it and now has a a 10 gigabyte hard drive um, sized down to 8 because of um, BIOS limitations but it's still perfect and last time you saw it, it was running Windows 3.1, but now that it's kind of my bedside computer, it's now running um, Windows 95. So, um, I will um, first uh, show you how, how I um, get this going here. About two weeks ago, I bought this um, laptop cart from Staples for about 40 bucks. Um, and I, and it's basically um, what it sounds like. Um, you, I, it's a little laptop card I can use while I'm in bed. I um, wish it would s extend out a little further, but it still works and serves its purpose. Um, but when I want to use the bedside Packard Bell, I remove the laptop. I uh, grab this mouse pad here. Ah, oh, great. There we go. Uh, bring this um, Microsoft mouse right here and I bring this Packard Bell keyboard 
uh, right here like so. And now, um, ladies and gentlemen, let's see it turn on now. So we'll um, turn on the monitor. And here we go with the Packard Bell Legend 402 CD. Power on self test. Alright, booting into Windows 95. I'm thinking about at some point um, giving this the compact flash card treatment. And here we are, in good old Windows 95. And you can see I have a wallpaper similar to what I have on the 822. This one says Billy Kors Packer Bell Legend 402 CD. And that one says Billy Kors Packer Bell Legend 822 CDT. I'm boring, aren't I? <laughs> but um, let's uh, get this camera in a more better spot to simulate what it's like at nighttime when I'm normally using this. So I will um, be right back. Okay, basically this is what I see um, at nighttime when I'm typically using this. Um, here's the keyboard cart um, with the... Actually, let's turn the light back on for just a moment. To, I need a new remote here. Okay. Alright, here's the keyboard, and the mouse, and the monitor, and the computer way over there. So we'll turn the light back off. Come on. Uh, this button's all worn out. Uh, uh, come on! Oh, there we go. <laughs> now, um... Make it a little bit easier on myself while I use this. Um, it will hopefully focus, that is. I'm going to see if I can hook this camera up to a tripod. So this video will be a lot easier to make, hopefully. Okay, I think I got the camera position just right. Um, on the tripod, I got it zoomed right into the monitor. So will we? So we will take a little look at what all we have on um, the hard drive so far. Not a whole lot, but um, we got the Playroom from Broderbund, um, Richard Scarry's Busy Town, Big Job, Toy Story animated storybook. Digby the Dog, um, which I need to make a video of sometime. Kid Picks, can never go wrong with that. Jumpstart First Grade. Living Books Games. Um, the main group, um, which you're probably familiar with. Truckology. Um, the Microsoft Money, which came with this computer. Microsoft Bob. Uh, Bookshelf 95, um, the Gus games, the Packard Bell games, like um, my first encyclopedia, for instance. Uh, the Packard Bell utilities, including Navigator and Media c Controller. Um, Hanna-Barbera's Cartoon Carnival. Uh, Sierra games, which we'll be looking at in a minute and the audio applications. Oh, and um, I got Office 95 installed on here. I have to say, this is a really, really comfortable concept. <laughs> I just rear back in bed and use a Packard Bell like I would at a desk. Now, 16 megs of RAM. This originally had 8 in it. But I'm sure you've, you've all heard this stories about this computer for the last several years. Eventually, um, I'm hoping to actually replace this um, Legend 402 CD with, um, well, a Packard Bell that you haven't seen since 2011 that was featured very regularly on my channel for a very long time. Um, but more on that in another video. But right now, 
we're going to play us some 3D Ultra Pinball. Sierra. Oh yeah, I got this um this particular game um just one day after we got the original Legend 822 CET back in December of '95. So this is one of my very first games I ever owned, folks. <laughs> Where you get it? Got us some good audio MIDI that is. Uh, uh, we'll just do the colony level. Now on certain Packard Bells on Windows 95, the graphics um, glitch up badly in this game. It doesn't do it on my Legend 822 CDT, but apparently it does do it on the 402 CD. As you can see here, it, it's all glitchy. I don't know why certain Packard Bells do this, because they, because most of them use the Cirrus Logic 5434 or 5430 um, graphics card on them. And actually, I've even seen Packard Bells with um, S3 chips in it do this, so I don't know why some do this and some don't. But we'll just have to trudge through here and just deal with the glitchy graphics. At least we can listen to the good MIDI. This, this is comfortable. <laughs> Just sitting in bed doing this. One of the big things I have in mind for this um, setup is I've discussed this before how um, nostalgia works um, best late, late at night or really, really, really early in the morning. Well, it will be, this is right here at my bed. Um, if I, oh, we got two pinballs now. This is right here in my bed. If I wake up in the middle of the night, can't get back to sleep, I. Gotta have me some nostalgia. Well, I got a Packard Bell Legend 402 CD um, ready to go if I need it. I just wish the graphics wouldn't glitch it, but I ramble on about that long enough, I suppose. sleep during this video. <laughs> this is I'm in bed. Does anybody ever really um go by the plots in pinball games? I don't. I just I just hit the flippers and see what happens. Yeah, this is a really good... Oh, 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 whoa. Oh, 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 um... Let's get out of this game. <laughs> oh, isn't that lovely? This program's a form of illegal operation will be shut down. Um... Yeah, um, in the 90s, Microsoft was performing a lot of illegal operations. That's why they were always in court back then. I don't know why it did that if it 
the, if I was closing the game. Uh, um, I will um, uh, be right back. I, I need to change CD-ROMs. And we are back. Um, not only did I have to change the CD-ROM, but I had to go in the kitchen and get a, a band-aid for my thumb before uh, my hangnail causes me to bleed to death. And, um, you know, I have, I have a lot of hecklers that would really like to see this, but I do not plan on um, dying a bloody death right on camera for you guys to see. So, um, anyway, we are in MS-DOS right now, um, MS-DOS mode of um, Windows 95 to be exact, to show off um, a very, very um, interesting computer game that I came across recently. This was a Packard Bell bundled game on computers from late 1994 into early 1995. I'm talking the late 486 era, early Pentium era. This is the software pack I'm really not that familiar with, but this is um, a little game called 3D Body. So we will um, change directory. I think it's 3D Body. And. Um, even though this is Windows 95 with the 1995-1996 software pack, this game will still run just fine. And, um, we will, um, first I need to, okay, I think I just need to do the body, and off we go. And it's made by Knowledge Adventure. And here we are. Oh, it's relaxing, that music. Oh, it's so relaxed. Oh, 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 um, we're in the game now. This is um, pretty much a, um, there's really not a plot to this game. Basically, all you have, all, all there is to it is you click on stuff and learn about body, learn about body parts. And what's interesting about this game is, is that it, if you were to buy a copy of this back in the 90s, it would have um, included a pair of um, plastic 3D glasses um, to play the game with, hence the term um, 3D body adventure, but... From what I've heard, it really didn't work all that well, which doesn't really surprise me, I suppose. <laughs> so we'll go into, into the main part of the game. Actually, let me turn the speakers up without killing myself here. Ah! Almost did. <laughs> Please wait. Good old FM synthesis. Alright, click directly on the body to begin exploring. Click directly on the body to begin exploring. To move the body to a new position, click on the rotation. I can raid! Uh, let's see. Ooh, the Ulna. I, I always wanted to learn about the Ulna. Oh. Look, guys, it's the elbow! Intestine. The intestine. Oh, isn't that lovely? Yeah, makes makes me appreciate my intestine. Um, it's done so much for me in the past 24 years. Um, it's been a vital part of my digestive system and. I wouldn't be here without it, folks. I just would not be here, you know? The intestine is the major part of the digestive system extending from the duodenum to the anus. Ew, it said anus. Ew, this is for children? And the large intestine. The primary function of the small intestine 
intestine is to complete the digestion of food and then absorb the useful nutrients into the blood. The small intestine consists of three major sections called the duodenum, the jejunum, and the ileum. The jejunum, I like that word. The ileum, unabsorbed material containing a large volume of water, is passed on to the large intestine. The function of the large intestine is to resorb all the excess water from the undigested food. Ah, yes, the large intestine. Um, from what I've heard, the large intestine is full of crap. Okay, we get it. Let's hear about the brain. Divisions of the brain. Wow, I didn't know my um, I didn't know that the I didn't know the sections of my brain were um different colors. More you know, more you know. The surface of the cerebral hemispheres is folded into deep fissures, sulci, and bumps, gyri, which triple the total surface area. The most brain regions. Most brain functions have been found to be. Are you folks getting queasy? Because I am. <laughs> Voluntary movements are controlled by a part of the frontal lobes, the precentral gyrus. Sensation is processed by the... Gyrus? Wasn't that an arcade game back in the early 80s? The postcentral gyrus. Interestingly, the nerve pathways for both movement and sensation cross the midline. This causes the right side of the brain to control the left side of the body, and the left side of the brain to control the right side of the body. Hey, 3D body, I heard you like to shut up. Oh. Just notice something here. Um, there's a little button here um, that says "Put your 3D glasses on." Basically, um, this button enables the 3D features of the game. Um, now I don't have any 3D glasses with me at the moment, so we really can't um, do this. Plus, I can't put 3D glasses around a video camera, can I? <laughs> but like I said, I've heard that it didn't really work all that well. Alright, we're back at the main menu, and there's a, a game I want y'all to see. So it's a game called Body Recall. Let's play Body Recall. Click on one of the 12 tiles to see what lies underneath it. Remember what you see. Concentration is the key. The object of the game is to match each picture with its name or with its function. What was it with 90s computer games and these matching games, these matching mini-games? It seems like so many computer games back then had these type of games where you um, mat match a certain object with another object. It was really weird, and, it was, and not only that, they also had a bunch of Simon knockoffs, but fortunately that there's not one in this game that, that I know of. I haven't played this game long enough to know. It wouldn't surprise me if it did. <laughs> so, um, uh, let's, uh, part. Wow, um, first one, and I got it. That looks like the liver. Liver let die! Okay. Alright, it must be. Alright, we'll get this. Ah, there we go. There's the liver and all its um, liverness. Okay, if that's the brain, then where's Pinky? Alright, um, let us um, resume that. There's the kidneys. 
figured they'd be kind of smaller than that. I, I thought children's knees would be a lot smaller. Those are the loans. And that's the stomach. Looks like a very disgusting looking animal that you would see in the ocean. <laughs> Now that's all I get is great job. <laughs> oh well, um, let's get out of this um, game. Yeah, and this is like the little main menu screen if you had the other um, Packer Bell Bundle software of late 1994, um, but I currently don't at the moment, so these buttons really can't do much. But, you know, it kind of makes me really want to have a late 1994, early 1995 era Packard Bell that would have come with this software package. Um, this was with the Packard Bell Navigator, um, the four of the one we're familiar with. The one that had, like, the little study in the hallway and the female narrator instead of the male na narrator. It was... Um, it's something um, that's on my bucket list for Packard Bills that I would really like. So we'll go back into Duels. And um, we will um, head back into Windows. Um, I probably, probably could have just typed Win, but oh well. And once we get into Windows, we will do the customary canyon test. All right, here we are back in good old Windows 95. Let's go to my computer. Windows. Uh, okay, oh, there it is, media. And, ladies and gentlemen, for the one millionth time on this channel, the Kenyan MIDI. I love FM Synthesis. <laughs> One of the reasons why I like Sega Genesis. That will never get old, folks. <laughs> but again, um, this is the Packard Bell Legend 402 CD, um, which is now my bedside Packard Bell. Um, eventually, I am going to um, replace this with another Packard Bell. Um, now, you're probably wondering why I didn't go with a tower version of Packard Bell. Um, other than the 822, I also have the Legend 818 CDT and the um, Platinum 2240. But, um, as you saw earlier with the way my, um, room is set up, with, with, with that TV stand and anything, the only, um, the only spot that will, um, support a Packard Bell, the only 
the only Packard Bell that it would probably support I see is is a desktop model, a flat desktop model like the Legend 402 CD, um, which, believe it or not, um, I've sold off a few Packard Bells, so this is my only flat desktop model Packard Bell uh, that I have right now. But um, I'm expecting that to change um, hopefully pretty soon, um, so I can replace this with an even more awesome Packard Bell. Um, how awesome is it? Well, next to the Legend 822 CDT, this is my um, this will this is actually my second favorite Packard Bell ever. I may have just given it away right there, but I'm still not going to say what it is because um, that's for another day. I'd like to keep you guys um, on the wire. So, um, yeah, this is just a great way to just, if I'm, for late at night, um, if I need, if I feel the need to use a Packard Bell, or if I'm, or if I ever get sick and I, um, can't make it over to the 822, um, this is ready to go. So, we'll go ahead and shut down. And, um, this is Billy Core signing off. And while I was filming that bedside Packard Bell computer, look how much snow fell on the ground. That is amazing. I didn't even know we are going to get that much today. But that's what you get when you don't watch the news. But, wow.